In this video, you are going to learn three tricks to really help you reduce the time you spend editing your videos. Check it out. What's up YouTube, my name is Abaji, I'm a video editor and in my years of editing videos, still learning, I picked up a few tricks that really helped me save time when editing these videos and I'm going to be sharing three of those tricks with you today but before we continue if you're new to the channel i review smartphone cameras as well as give tips on how to shoot amazing videos with just your phone as well as every other thing around filmmaking so please consider hitting the subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss out on future videos like this one and without wasting more of your time let's get to the video number one is renaming your files before importing them into your editing software now this is literally the first thing i do before even starting to edit on my laptop after transferring the files from the camera or from my phone into my laptop. Renaming your videos before you even import them into your editing software is a huge time saver, especially when you're working with a bunch of videos all together. Now, in the sense that you don't have to go through all the clips one by one to figure out which one you're starting with or which one has better framing. Now, one thing I want you to know and put in your mind is there's nothing like excess footage. I usually don't delete these extra takes, I just rename them etc or I put everything into a folder I name etc. This way if I have a blank in my timeline when editing, I can easily go to this folder and pick up a few videos I can use to fill in the blank. This is another reason why you should always pre-plan your shots before filming and also play around with some videos you didn't even pre-plan. Number 2 is keyboard shortcut. Now I'm not talking about Ctrl C or Ctrl V, I'm talking about quick tool changes and actions right inside of your editing software. Now I use Premiere Pro and the 5 shortcuts I find myself always using to save time while editing are number 1, the Ripple Edit tool. This tool helps you trim layers while retaining its original position on the timeline. The Razor tool which turns your cursor into a razor as the name implies and this helps you cut a layer into as many segments as you want. The Slip tool which helps you seek and change the source video in a layer without messing with that layer's position or length. The Track Select Forward tool which helps you select all the tracks or layers in the timeline to the right or to the left. Now just hitting A on your keyboard will set it to select to the right but with the shift plus A combo it will set the selections to the left. And lastly the quick timeline zoom in and out shortcut which is literally my most used shortcut in Premiere Pro. Seriously I can use this thing like 100 times in 30 minutes and I am not kidding. Now by hitting minus and equal to sign on your keyboard, you'll be able to zoom in and out of your timeline as quickly as possible and by holding each key down, it does so repeatedly. Now you might not necessarily use this as much as I do because I edit on a 13 inch MacBook Pro which has a smaller screen size compared to a 15 or 16 inch laptop. If you want to assign or reassign keys to shortcuts or you just want to check all the shortcuts inside of Premiere Pro and After Effects, you can easily do that by going to the keyboard shortcuts option in your file menu. And the third and final trick is presets. Now everybody uses presets, that's why I'm not talking about the pre-installed effects or the transitions, I'm talking about creating your own presets. Now this is as easy as right clicking and selecting save presets. If you have that one effect that you always have to tweak when editing or a transition you always have to remake when editing your videos or client videos, you can easily just save the customized effect as a drag and drop preset. Here is how. You can simply do this by going to the effects control panel and right clicking on the exact effects you have customized. In my case, I use drop shadows a lot and I have a custom setting I use for all my YouTube videos as you can see on the screen right now. So what you do is right click on that particular effect and select save preset. Now after renaming it to whatever you can easily remember, you have to take note of these three options on here. Only select anchor to in point if your effect has to do with the beginning of a layer. Select anchor to out point if your effect has to do with the end of a layer and select scale if you want to stretch out the effect to adapt to the length of any layer whatsoever. You can also add a short description to whatever preset you are saving and that's it. Which of these tricks do you think you'll be using more often now? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you have any questions, I'll be more than happy to answer them down there as well. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and also share this video with your friend or someone you think you'll benefit from this. And I'll see you guys in my next one.